Hey everyone, Matt Pisarsik from RazorEmporium.com. Today, to do a little wet shave review of some new products, um, we have the Essence of Scotland Gentleman's Groom Room uh, Shaving Soap, and we're also going to be looking at the Feather Popular Double Edge Razor. Let's get started. Okay, I am all lathered up with our Essence of Scotland um, Highland Bothy scent. Now these come from the gentleman's groom room in Dundee, Scotland. Um, and that's a small shaving store that's run by a uh, friend, Ian Thompson. And um, I think he has a soap made by another local company and we've been carrying Essence of Scotland pretty much from the found, founding of our company in 2010. I think it was our, it wasn't the first, I think we picked up Parasso first and then we picked up um, Essence of Scotland was our second soap we picked up and we've been carrying it ever since and when we first got it there was only three cents. It was the, I'm trying to remember back, it's the uh, Sweet Gale it was the Heather, and then it was the, um, oh, I'm blanking, one other one. And now they've added some other scents. Um, Highland Bothy, Malton Myrtle, Mountain Yew, so they really kind of filled out the line. Now, so I'm loaded, I'm, I'm lathered up, and it lathered beautifully. It lathered really nicely, easy to get a lather out of it. I do have some Parasso pre-shave underneath. I always do that, as you guys hear me say. Um, yeah, conditions for shaving here in the studio is not as wonderful as shaving after a shower, so I always have to put pre-shave on here just to make sure I am going to get the best shave possible. And we're going to get loaded up now. I just dropped a feather blade into my feather popular razor. Now this is a really budget-friendly double-edge razor, plastic handle, some metal parts here. Um, and I'm going to try with the feather blade. Now, I, I generally, I always tell people, feather is a really sharp blade, probably one of the sharpest on the market. Um, and some people think, I need the sharpest. I got a strong, heavy beard. Look at me. I'm a man. Give me the sharpest blade. Well, yeah. Have fun with that one because it's not meant for everyone's skin. And my skin, I used to use a feather for probably a year. And I thought, yeah, this is great. And it doesn't get any better than this. And then I tried a couple other ones and I realized, it does get better than that for me. I need a little bit less sharp blades. I don't get irritation. But we're gonna try it with the feather. If, uh, if I'm sensing irritation or I'm sensing it's just not working out, I'm gonna switch over to a Paul Silver blade. Um, so we'll give it a couple strokes just for fun here. Oh, that's not bad at all. That's actually, well actually, hold on. That's super close. <laughs> That's like really close. So yeah, I think my cheeks could handle this. I don't know about my neck. It's actually been years since I've used a feather blade. That's like near BBS with a one pass of this plastic cheap $20 razor. Not too shabby. So and I'm getting shaving cream all over my, my shirt. <laughs> um, not too shabby. I'm a little little leery to take that down to my neck. It's definitely providing a very, very close shave up here on my cheeks. And I'm using practically no pressure at all. I mean, just the pressure to hold it, you know, against my skin and, and to... Uh, Control it, but I'm not pressing down at all. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bail out, guys. Sorry, I'm pushing the button. Burr, bailing out on the feather blade. 
it's not that it's bad. It's I know myself, and that's half of half of wet shaving is to know thyself and to know that what may feel amazing on my cheeks, I will pay for with agony on my neck if I continued that shave. Yeah, see, that's nearly as close. Uh, yeah, a little, little, little more stubble remains. But it's comfortable. It doesn't have that harsh feeling. And that's what, that's what you're going to go for. On, on, on some of these blades that are not meant for your skin, you may kind of enjoy it. You're like, yeah, that's like a laser cutting my hair off. Take a look at your face the next day. You may not be so happy with the results. You want a, a shave that's comfortable. And this obsession with BBS, for those of you out of the know or new to the hobby, baby butt smooth shave BBS, I think is a, a wonderful thing if you have got this skin or a job profession that requires that, the skin, a skin that can hold, you know, handle that, hold up to it. Um, I've said to, on my channel many times, I go for par. I'm not going for a birdie or for eagle. There's no drill sergeant <sighs> here at Razor Emporium who's gonna take a credit card and swipe it against my cheek to make sure there's no stubble left over. I, I'm not, I don't need to pass uh, muster for a gas mask seal or something. I am going for a close, comfortable shave. And here's the most important guys part, guys, that is repeatable, meaning I can do the shave every day or every other day or week after week, and I keep on getting the same quality shave. And this is doing great. Paul Silverblade. I'm actually really impressed with this razor. For $20, it is a great, great uh, way to get started. It has a nice long handle, so if you're coming from cartridge razors, that'll be more um, kind of familiar. If And if you're also coming from cartridge razors, who doesn't like the butterfly action? It's pretty sweet, right? I mean, it makes loading a blade not only enjoyable, but fast. And again, just light pressure. But yeah, the repeatable part, guys, that's really important. Getting a really great BBS shave, uh, you know, once in a while is like hitting a, is like, it's like in golf. I'll use another golf analogy. I don't know why I don't play golf, but it's like in a hole in one. You're like, whoopee, I did it. But can you keep on doing that? No, it's much easier to continue to hit par or to hit a, maybe a birdie than it is to uh, try to hit a hole in one every time. And I want to, again, I want a shave that's consistent. And that actually is hard for me to do. I, I said this a couple times. It's hard for me. I'm constantly trying new products out. Like, you know, I haven't used Essence of Scotland in years. I haven't used one of these in a long time. Um, but I have used my pre-shave and my brush and this Paul Silver Blade. So I try to have some variables that don't change. I had a couple comments on our a couple videos ago with uh, when we had Chella featured. And somebody I know pretty well, Brent, um, met him at Big Shave a couple times, good customer, good friend. He said, Matt, I can't believe you haven't used Chella before. And I, you know, I, the truth is, guys, I didn't get into this wet shaving thing for the variety of the experience, uh, you know, the spice of life of trying a new soap every week and having 80 soaps in my bathroom. That was not why I got involved with this. There's a reason why... It's called Razor Emporium, not Shaving Emporium. 
I was always more interested in the hardware side, restoration and collecting than I was soap of the week kind of a thing. Yeah, a little irritation over here. That's from another experimental razor I was using a week ago. I got into the wet shaving part to get good results and to you know stop irritation or reduce it. And um, yes, it is neat. You know, it's uh, it's more enjoyable. It's a kind of a hobby and all that fun stuff. Some guys get into this because they want a new scent every morning, the same way they want to try, you know, different uh, liquors or different coffee or whatever. Uh, mine was more of a utilitarian necessity of wanting to get into this hobby. So once I kind of found the products that I liked, I have a tendency of sticking with them. I'm very, I'm very product loyal. Once I find something I like, like at home and I have choice, I kind of use the same stuff a lot. Um, if you're curious, one of my most favorite shave setup routines I've been, I think I've been doing at home for months now, has been the Holy Black Lavender Creeper and my Rex Ambassador Paul Silver Blade. Actually, new old stock Paul Silver Blades. I really like those. Customer sent me some really wonderful blades. And usually Parasso Aftershave Balm, the white, which is right over here. Almost forgot that one. Okay, not not bad. Um, definitely a good starter razor. I don't think that the Feather Pop there would be your everyday razor if you're going to stick with double edge shaving. I think you're going to find that there are much uh, more enjoyable options out there that are heavier. You know, that my biggest beef with this razor is the weight because it is plastic. It um, it just didn't do the work that I'm usually normally used to kind of having the, the weight of the razor do the work, well, with, <laughs> with la less weight comes more, um, more work. So I, had to, I definitely had to go at it a little bit more. Um, the feather blade wasn't bad, I just for my skin type, I know myself, and it would feel great today and tomorrow, I'd probably have some ingrown hairs in my lower neck. Um, so I didn't want to do that, but my cheeks are really close, right up here especially, when I first started. Um, the Gentleman Groom Room Soap did great. Again, it's a, it's a wonderful line of products we've been carrying for years now, almost probably almost 10 years. And uh, this Highland Bothy was nice and spicy and earthy and I don't, I'm not the best with all the notes. In fact, I'll just read the package. What are the notes here? Uh, vetiver, cedarwood, mixed spices, natural honey, and Aberf Aberfeldy single malt scotch whiskey. Well, that's why I like it. Now, I'm definitely smelling the cedar wood and the mixed spices and some of that vetiver. So it's really kind of a classic, good smelling soap. Um, good performing, made a great lather very easily. And um, yeah, good shave, good, good uh, slickness. And what do they call it? Post shave feel. Got to remember all these, these words. <laughs> um, my Parasso aftershave balm felt great. Do my famous Matt Bersarsic swoosh of my hair because it's hot and sweaty in this studio. That's all I got today. Uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, leave a comment. Have you tried the Feather Popular? Is it, is it a good starter razor? I think for 20 bucks, I don't think it's much better for a starter razor. It even comes with a pack of Feather Blades. I mean, that's a $5 value right there. Um, I enjoyed the Essence of Scotland. I enjoyed being here with you today. Please leave a comment. Have you used any or all these products before? If so, what are your thoughts? If you do leave a comment, you're entered into win this, my cool black and blue Razor Emporium official t-shirt. We thank you for being part of our channel. Hit the bell to notify you when we release new videos. Subscribe to our channel to see more content. Check out Razor Emporium for all things vintage shavings, and we'll see you next time, guys. Thank you so much.